Hi, folks. This is Rockman Pat with Northwest Treasures. You know, I'm often asked what I bring with me as part of my geology toolkit when I go rock hounding. Well, that's a great question, and I'm glad to share that information with you. I do quite a bit of traveling and often don't have the time to look up each rock I find when I find it. And sometimes I'm collecting multiple specimens from different locations and don't have the time to organize each bunch of rocks I find. So here are some suggestions that I have found to be helpful for me. I hope you can use them too. There are three indispensable tools I usually carry with me that allow me to do most of the collecting I need to do. The first tool is what is referred to as a crack hammer. It looks like a mini sledgehammer. I use it for breaking up the bigger rocks. It works just great for that. Of course, be sure to wear some kind of eye protection. Bits and pieces of rock can fly off into all kinds of directions when using this hammer. The second tool I have with me is a five gallon pickle bucket. This allows me to collect rocks on the fly. And then the third indispensable tool I use is a guide from the roadside geology series for whatever state I'm traveling through. These books are very evolutionary in their interpretation of the rocks, but the geologists who have written them have done a good job of mapping where the rocks are located. Beyond these tools, here are a few more I take with me. I use a small backpack with lots of different pockets available for carrying my hammers, notebook and pen, my field glasses, and a small bottle of acid for testing the carbonate content of a rock. Let's say that I have collected several rocks from a few different locations as I'm traveling. And let's say that I put all of those into my five gallon bucket. How am I going to keep the rocks straight as to where I found them? I use a small notebook and tear out a slip of paper onto which I write just the location of the samples. I may have three or four different locations of rocks in my bucket. Putting in a slip of paper with each group of rocks will help me keep them straight. I don't usually try to identify what those rocks are until I get home. But it is very important to note the location of the rocks. And I use a dark permanent marker to make my notes. There is nothing more disappointing to discover that the ink has faded or run after it has gotten wet from rainwater or other liquids in the bucket. I mentioned a small bottle of acid. This is handy to tell me which rocks are carbonate based. This may help me to identify the geology environment of the area where I'm rock hounding. That information could tell me if the environment of the rocks are marine or not. I use muriatic acid, a type of hydrochloric acid. You can purchase this at a local hardware store and it works a lot better than lemon juice or vinegar. My field glasses come in handy when I'm trying to get the lay of the land around me or of the mountains off in the distance. That can, at times, tell me whether those mountains are sedimentary or some other rock type. Another hammer I find handy for breaking some rocks is a rock hammer with a flat edge on one end. This allows me to break softer rocks with a lot less damage than the crack hammer will do. It will also allow me to easily split shale. For you who are just getting started, I would suggest a couple of field guides beside the roadside guide. There are two field guides I would highly recommend. They are the Rock ID Field Guide and the Fossil ID Field Guide, both by a character named Patrick Nury. You can purchase these books from my website at northwestrockandfossil.com. They are perfect for kids who often get frustrated because they cannot identify the rocks they are finding because the field guide is too complicated or has pictures of samples 
that can't be found in the typical gravel pits or stream beds. If you can limit the tools to just a few, you won't lose them as easily. I hope these suggestions have helped you. I enjoy getting outdoors and looking for treasures that are generally easy to find and help me learn about the rocks of the earth. So long for now, this is Rockman Pat with Northwest Treasures.